The animal I chose for my presentation was the saw shark. Saw sharks are an order of sharks bearing long blade-like snouts, which is how they got their name, because their snouts look like saws. As you can see in my picture, this is the saw shark snout, which is called its saw, and these are its teeth on the side here. First, I'm going to talk about the general structure and functions of the saw shark. The saw shark has a long blade-like snout that is edged with teeth called rostral teeth, which they use to slash and disable prey in a way of obtaining food. In this picture, this is um, a fossil of a, oops, of a saw shark tooth. You can see it's long, slender, and sharp, so it's perfect for um, using to disable prey. The best weapon a saw shark has are its saws, which helps protect itself from predators. On this saw, they have a pair of long barbells. The barbells are located on the side of its saw right here. You can see they're long, they kind of look like whiskers. The saw shark's barbells contain chemical receptors and pressure sensors that help seek out prey through mud and sand at the bottom of the sea and jabs at their prey with them to stun them before using their saw. So you can see this saw shark is at the bottom of the sea. It has its um, sensory barbells out and scoping for predators. Saw sharks also have fin spines, which are called dermal denticles. They discourage predators, and male saw sharks actually have enlarged denticles that help with copulation and determining the, set, the sex of the shark. The spine is actually located, um, like, middle of its body right here, where its fins are. It's right here. Saw sharks commonly grow to be around 1.3 meters in height or 4.3 feet long. They also have muddy brown or gray spotted colored bodies, which actually help them camouflage themselves in sand, large sea plants, and mud. This saw shark in this picture is brown. Um, the color is actually determined by the species of the saw shark, and there are six different, no, seven different species, so it's kind of like, um, Whatever environment they live in, they're kind of camouflaged with that color. Saw sharks typically eat fish, squid, and crustaceans daily. Although they do have predators, a sad but important fact is that their biggest predator are in fact humans. Saw sharks have a very unique reproductive cycle called of viviparous reproduction, where the eggs develop and hatch inside the female's uterus. Terminology for oviviparous is inside the embryo's body. In this internal fertilization, there is no placental connection. The unborn young are nourished by the egg yolk inside the female's body. <clears throat> Saw sharks are born in packs of 3 to 22 in a litter. Babies are usually born during the winter months, just randomly. I guess it's a better time for them. The majority of saw sharks are found in Japan, Australia, South Africa, and the Caribbean because of their warm water and environment. They generally live at the bottom of the ocean on the sandy floor or in bays. There are seven different species of saw sharks. The long-nosed saw shark, tropical saw shark, Japanese saw shark, African dwarf saw shark, short-nosed saw shark, Bahamas saw shark, and the six-gill saw shark. All of them actually have different body structures. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, some of them don't grow to be as old either, and some of them actually have different colored bodies. As I was talking about before in the description, some of them are gray and spotted, and some of them are more of a brown color, just to help out with the um, camouflaging. 
Saw sharks live for up to 10 to 15 years old and are typically not considered dangerous to humans. A very sad fact is that humans actually hunt the sawfish for their saws, cut it off, and typically the shark is let go and starves because it doesn't have its best weapon anymore. Humans catch them using nets, lines, and hooks, but shouldn't anymore because this innocent creature may as well become extinct. That concludes my presentation on the saw shark.